Hi, so welcome to a quick intro to GCD. Um, I'm going to keep it really short and simple. Uh, so let's get straight to it. What is GCD? GCD stands for Grand Central Dispatch, and it's an API that Apple has built for you to deal with your synchronization issues in an easier way uh, than you could before. So, you know, typically when you're working with languages like C, uh, to deal with synchronization, you'll have all these synchronization primitives like, you know, uh, p threads, locks, semaphores, condition variables, um, and all of that. Um, and that requires a lot of thinking and a lot of work. Um, Swift has provided this sort of high-level API called GCD for you to address synchronization issues um, easier than you would be able to otherwise. So um, before we get into this, one thing that is important for us to realize is what is what does it mean to be asynchronous and what does it mean for your code to be synchronous? So let's look at async versus sync execution. So if a certain part of your code is synchronous, then a call to that part of your code must complete before any code after um, that chunk of code is executed. On the other hand, for asynchronous calls, those calls do not have to complete before any code afterwards is executed. So why could it be uh, bad practice to use synchronous calls everywhere? That's because if you have synchronous calls um, in many places in your code, that stops the current thread from running any other um, any other tasks. So um, in iOS apps, at least, if you have a lot of synchronous calls, that can make your UI and your code really slow, which you don't want. Um, and your UI could stop at times or just not respond to the user. Um, and um, obviously, that's not how you want to build your apps. So that's why. Um, as much as possible, almost always try to use um, asynchronous calls when interacting um, with the database. But now uh, there's an issue, right? Um, if you're making asynchronous calls to your database, you can um, you can sort of fall into some uh, synchronization problems because one piece of code, um, the next piece of code could execute before the current piece of code um, is done executing. Um, so you want to find a way to address that, and that's exactly what we're going to do today using GCD. So I have some starter code for us, um, and basically this view controller um, has a collection view in it that displays posts uh, to the user um, in the form of a feed. So um, what you'll see up here is I have a variable declared for the collection view, um, I have a post array, and I'm keeping track of the number of posts that are in the post array, um, and then I have a reference to my database. So in my view to load method, um, first I call setup collection view and I set up the collection view. Then I call get posts. And get posts basically makes an API call. I'm using Firebase here. So it makes an API call to get all the posts from the database. And I also have you know the collection view delegate methods implemented down here. So let's take a look at this code. So I'm getting uh, I'm getting um, posts from the database, and then I'm creating local, um, you know, post objects um, based off of the JSON that I retrieve. And now, once I get those, I want to add them to my collection view. So where do I do that? So let's look at one example of something we could do. So over here, I've commented this out, but essentially, this is the code um, that we are going to be using to add um, the retrieved posts to the database. So I could try adding them over here uh, by un uncommenting this code, but what would be the issue there? Let's think about it. When I'm making this call to the database, this is an asynchronous call. So what that means is once I've made this call, this code could execute before this highlighted code right here finishes executing. So I might not even have all the retrieved posts by the time that I'm updating my collection view with it and that can cause many problems. So we don't want to do that. We obviously want to have the new posts to insert into the collection view before we actually insert them. So where does that leave us? That means that in this callback right here, in this closure that we have um, in our database call, we need to update the UI right here. So once we've gotten all our retrieved posts, um, that is the point at which we want to update our UI. But Here's the issue. The UI in iOS development has to be updated on the main thread. And asynchronous calls typically run on the background thread. So if you try to update your UI here, it may or may not work. 
So how can we fix this? And this brings us to the most common use case of GCD. GCD is how we're going to fix it. So before moving forward, um, I'm going to declare a retrieved post array right here. So retrieve posts equals cool. Now I'm going to uncomment this code. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to paste it right here. So, and after getting each post, I'm going to add it to my retrieve post array. So retrieve post dot append retrieve post. Awesome. So let's take a look at what's happening one more time. So I'm getting my post from my database. Then inside the closure. So once I've gotten all the posts, once this call has completed, remember this is still an asynchronous call, but since I'm in the callback or in the closure, this code is executing once the call has completed. Then I'm go uh, going through all the JSON and I'm making local post objects from that JSON. And I'm storing these local post objects in retrieved posts. Now I want to use this code right here to add it to my data, uh, to add it to my collection view. But I need this code to run on the main thread and this call to the database, since it's an asynchronous call, it's running on the background thread. So I'm going to use GCD now. And the way I do that is really simple, especially in Swift 3. So dispatch queue dot main dot async. And then I'll cut this code and I'll paste it right here. So basically what this is doing, it's saying that, hey, even though this API call is happening on the background thread, once I get inside the callback and the API call is completed, I'm making sure that I'm dispatching this piece of code execution to the main thread. So this will happen on the main thread instead of the background thread, which is where you, so you want all, all of your uh, UI work essentially to happen on the main thread, and GCD helps you do that. GCD also helps you do a lot of um, other things, and it helps you address a lot of other syn synchronization issues that may arise. Um, but those are a little complicated, so you know if you want to uh, look into those, uh, please go and read Apple's documentation. Um, I just wanted to cover the most uh, basic and common use case that I've seen. So hopefully uh, this video was informative. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any questions, uh, and thanks for watching.